Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is just going to be a very quick tech review. So Logitech likes to send me stuff to review for the channel and I received this keyboard about a month ago, I was actually over a month ago and I've been using it ever since and I think that's good enough time to do a proper review, give you guys kind of like my in-depth feel of what my experience was uh, during this time. So yeah, today we're going to do a quick review, so hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so as always, I have to let you guys know that I'm not getting paid personally for this review at all. The only thing that I get to do is I get to keep the keyboard for my own personal use. And I'll be honest with you guys, this keyboard, the G5 112, is not a keyboard that I would have gone out of my way personally to purchase myself because I'm more of a 10 keyless guy. I've been a 10 keyless guy for about six years now. They're my favorite type of keyboard. And obviously this keyboard is a full keyboard with a number pad on the right hand side. So Logitech has their own proprietary brand of switches. They don't use the traditional Cherry MX switches that the majority of other companies use, but their G-Roamer switches pretty much go in line with what all the other ones, that major ones that you can find on the market. So they have a variant of a brown, blue, as well as a red. And as you can probably hear, uh, this is a blue switch. I'm personally myself a brown switch, but you do have the option of a brown switch if you are kind of in this line. So in terms of connectivity, you have a fairly beefy and very robust, as you can see right here how thick uh, this cable is. Uh, the only thing that I would have changed is I would have liked this cable to be detachable in some sort of way because I'm a person who likes to hide my cables. I actually drilled a hole into the middle of my desk where the cable is supposed to go. So a micro USB uh, cable runs from underneath my desk to connect to my keyboard that I'm currently using. Uh, this one because it's non-detachable and the cables that run from it are fairly large. You have the cable that connects to your PC to let the keyboard work as well as a connector to power the USB uh, fast USB location on the front of the keyboard. Another thing that I would have preferred as well is I would have liked another step uh, for the legs, the elevation legs of the keyboard. Um, I found that the, the max height that the keyboard sat at wasn't quite high enough for me. Um, I like it to sit a tiny bit higher, so um, if it could have had another step up, I uh, would have just felt a little bit more comfortable. Uh, but other than that, the build quality is exceptional as you expect from a keyboard that has a top made out of aluminum. Uh, there's very little flex, if at all, in the keyboard. There's really nothing as worse as typing on like a mushy keyboard that kind of like bows in the middle as you're typing with it. It feels very gross and unnatural. Um, one other touch that I would have liked is I would have liked the Logitech logo on the front of the keyboard on the top right hand side uh, to illuminate in RGB. And speaking of RGB, as you can expect, like I said earlier, um, this is a fully RGB mechanical keyboard. So you pretty much have all the effects that you have become too accustomed to uh, these days with customizable lighting options as well as default ones that you can select. It also has some connectivity with chat programs like Discord as well. So uh, I didn't realize it at first when it was asking me to link it and I did not know exactly what the results are. But the keyboard will actually respond and light up differently while you're in a voice chat just to kind of remind you that you're in a voice chat as well if you receive messages on Discord. The PMs or DMs, the keyboard will you can set the keyboard to light a little bit differently as well. So uh, that's a nice little touch. Also, you'll find at the very top of the keyboard, there is a quarter inch screw. So if you're a person who wants to attach your keyboard to some sort of stand and you don't want to do it in some sort of makeshift MacGyver sort of way, um, you can get a quarter inch screw and you can pretty much mount it wherever you want, which is a nice feature. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my down and dinner review of the Logitech G5 112 mechanical RGB keyboard. Once again, this is a keyboard that wasn't designed for someone like me. I'm a huge 10 keyless fan at heart and I probably will always be, but it is definitely solidly built. You feel like you're typing on something substantial as you're using it. And you have various options as well for switches, depending on your preference. And some small other tweaks as well as I would have made, but nothing too substantial. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the view review. Hopefully you found my information informative of what I liked and disliked about it. And as always, if you enjoyed these videos, give the video a quick thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time for the next review. All right, as always, have a nice day.